hi and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do another drawing for my um wildflower journal really enjoyed doing the um flannel flower had good response to that too online and <coughs> excuse me and so today i just want to have another go at some um flowers and and so that it just adds some either pockets or something like that into my journal so today i'm going to do the banksia and the wax flower um so we'll get started and i'll put some music on and let's get going Thank you. 
All right, so that is my drawing for today. We've got the um, banks here. I might go and do a swatch of the colours that I used. I'll just tear that up there and let's do a little swatch. Put my pencils away. Um, I don't think they're in the same order that I used them, but that doesn't matter. Oh, we've got one missing over here. Huh? One missing. There's a red one. Where'd that go? Hmm. Well, what's... Hmm. What did I put over here that shouldn't be here? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, put them back in. And when I um, got these pencils, I did swatches on them on white paper and craft paper. And it just gives you a good idea because some... Uh, when you're looking at colors because some colors really pop on this craft paper Where they sort of blend back in you know on the on the white It's um interesting how that works um, You know you've got these ones here Where is it? Uh, these two here and one will pop and the other one just doesn't really stand out that much So I like coloring on craft paper, but you do have to um put some layers of white down first now I'm no expert at the coloring at all so don't copy what I do go to the experts videos and um, copy them because I just do I just color I just go for it and do what what I feel like doing <laughs> so um yeah so that's what I do when I color <laughs> I mean I have watched some videos before and um um, tried to sort of get a little idea how it all works and um, that helps you along I'm just um, I like doing the colour swatches with them and you know, and then you can just remember, I guess, what you've um, used for that that picture, and um, can use it on another another make or another draw when you want that shade. I'll just put my pens away too, and oh, that doesn't go there. All right, let's bring uh, my album in. See where we can put this thing. Um, it's very, I guess, very similar to the, not similar, but where did I put the last one? I thought I'd go to the back of the journal <laughs> and, um, you know, just put it in from there. This one, here's a colour swatch I just poked in like that, and I'll do the same with this too. They don't have to be exactly together but that's the two drawings that i've done so far really happy how they're turning out and so we'll go and find a page that we can put this on i still don't have my photos printed out um i'm not sure whether to just print them on my epson or get them done professionally i just don't know um Still haven't decided that yet. So 
Um, now I wanted to put it on what might have to go in the back of this one. Well, that's the back page. That one, see, I was going to put it, but I like those black and whites. So I didn't want to cover up them either. I think I've, I might have one of those pages spare up here. See, there's another black and white as well. Hmm. Let's see if there's one up here. See, these came out of a really old book. I didn't want to cover up too much of it, but some of them were just writing and I thought, well, they could get covered up. Don't want to go too near to where I've done the banks here either. Oh, See, that's one. But then, oh, that's not too close, is it? Because that's my first flower. What was my second flower? That. And then the Banksia. Oh, the Banksia is way up there. Alright, we might put it here. So, I might, I don't know whether to do the same as before. Make a pocket. Um, I sort of like that idea. I'll just um I might need to cut this down. Sorry, I'm not <laughs> I'm doing this off the screen. Not being very helpful for you, is it? I'm just measuring anyway. Right, let's see how that goes. And then I'll fold that bit in. It's going to come over a bit. I should have um, measured that, shouldn't I? It's only coming over just a little bit, so what I could do is punch that little. Oh, well you're not even in the screen. Okay, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. I want it to cover up that page, but it's going over that much. So, and I don't want to cut that off. So, we might put the tab, cut the tab, uh, the tab punch here. In here just to show that it's um there's a pocket there on the other side that could work like that and then when it's closed up you'll see the, the tab down that side won't have to um I'll just put a little bit of its name there like it's been sort of touched and used before 
Right, so to finish this, I'm going to, I should finish it while it's flat instead of trying to squeeze it into the book and then try stamping on it, which doesn't always work out. I like the specimen idea that I've done on the last one. Um, see if I can find some of that tea dyed paper that I used last time. I don't think I threw it all out. Alright, so I'm just going to grab my memento and a ink pad and make it into another specimen or what about a field label that could look good instead of specimen do a field label now this one's new so i'm gonna have to just give it a rub over my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing and um, pick a piece of paper and just have one go at it Sorry, it's down in the corner. You can't even see what I'm doing, can you? Oh. There we go. Well, I hope you're having a all good day. It's hot, hot, hot here. <laughs> the um, autumn's um, pushing out some last of its summer fun. And, um, you know, giving us plenty of warm weather. But that's all right. We can manage that. And um, I've been um, out in my little potted garden with my succulents repotting and Dave's being busy on the oh, I wondered where that pencil had gone <laughs> Dave just snuck in me 2B pencil I just scratched out another 2B one I like drawing with the 2B ones because they're softer than the HB <laughs> I was looking everywhere for it thinking oh, I think it might have gone outside <laughs> so he's just finished putting up some cupboards in the camper making it look all nice we're getting to the pointy end the fun end of that so i'll just stick that on there i think yeah we're getting to the fun end where we can um almost go away in it very much looking forward to to that all right that there and we've got a couple of other labels and stamps where's my other one? Oh, up here and my stamp pads where are they gone oh i haven't been in here for a bit i's um i've been what i've been doing Doing stuff with Asha. Taking him to play group and we went to the to um, the park this morning and had brekkie in the park and it was so nice. You know what happened? 
<laughs> Asher got to see little baby turtles hatching <laughs> in the um oh they were all in the what do you call it the mulch you know around the gardens around um Sumption Gardens the Wodonga and um they were all starting to hatch and take off towards the um the dam so cute so cute watching him do that got to nurse one <laughs> oh he's such a cutie and um his daddy cooked us some eggs and sausages for breakfast we had a nice time all right what am i looking for another stamp um let's put a number on this one should we yeah I'll put a nice number on it We didn't know Grab it there. Not the right way. I'll take that out of there. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> And what else? Figure one. I'll put figure two this time. So I'll put figure one on the last one. Figure two. Put all these little labels on it. What does it say? And I might put some ink around the edge. Ink that pad's getting a bit. Can't, um, get a bit light. Right. So we'll bring that in and I'll stick that in to my journal. I'm going to stick it in so it's another big pocket 
in there. I like that idea. Oh, I better just take some of the bulk off this again. I just like a folded edge. I don't know whether anybody else does, but I guess it helps the pocket to stay sturdy too. Just the edge of the pocket. Okay, so that's my pocket done in here. Now, with some of my artwork, I'll get a pin for that. I dropped this whole big thing of um, paper clips and stuff the other day. Oh gosh, it was annoying. I think half of them are still under the table somewhere. They'll need to be rescued one day. So, I might just put it on this way. And I don't mind putting it over, you know. Over some of the, um, this picture here. That's all right. I'll cut a space in there for the clip to go through. big on that side isn't it what's going on so that's my page done that's my um spray of the banksia and the wax flower um it's just it's not perfect it's just get in and have a go type drawing but um but i love how it's turned out love it so that's um yeah another pocket in there to put something and um and that's it so, uh, if you're new here, look, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Press that bell button to get notifications. Um, if you like what you see, press the little, um, you can press the little thanks heart down below here. And um, you can um, leave a donation to help my channel grow. Um, if you like what you see on here, the content, I'm doing this... Um, wildflower journal with just doing it really different trying to do it really different um but in a way that i 
you know, can remember what we seen when we went around Australia and, um, yeah. So that's the Banksia that I did there. And just putting some of my artwork in it, some of my artwork, some of my stitching, um, and I plan to do a little bit of stamp carving too. So, um, yeah, just trying to add all this into this journal to make it um, very personal and and um, nice at the same time. So, um, yeah, catch me for a new video. I've got, um, um, I don't know whether, I'll show you a petal. I bought a bag of petals like this. And I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to use it for. Huh? That's in an upcoming video. Alright, so take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye!